Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So, yet another thing from uh, season one of the show Vikings. Um, dude, what are you wearing? Okay, what is this armour that keeps turning up in, in TV and film? It's a bunch of rings kind of sewn to a leather waistcoat. Like, what is that? What is it even supposed to be? Why would you do that? Okay, if you've got rings, make mail. Mail is far better than this, okay? Mail armour was completely prevalent, was the normal type of armour in the Viking era. Um, this, there's like no historical evidence for it. And how effective is that really going to be? It's a bunch of rings kind of stitched or threaded in this case onto a leather waistcoat. Well, it looks like, it looks like a cheap alternative for someone who couldn't afford mail. But this guy's supposed to be a successful Viking, okay? He's defeated lots of people who wear mail. Why wouldn't he just take one of their mail shirts and wear it? And, like, it's sleeveless as well. And normally when you wear a sleeveless armoured item, it's because there's something else protecting your sleeves. His arms and shoulders are completely unprotected. Well, except for his nice uh, leather jerkin, which, of course, I like to rant about. Why is he wearing a leather jerkin? What, he, what is that supposed to be? Um, so, why is it a waistcoat shape? Why is it rings stitched onto, stitched onto a sort of leather um, base. Um, it's just, it's not historical, it, it doesn't really make any sense. Even if we take it out of history, if we say, okay, well, maybe it could have existed in history, we just don't know about it. But why would it exist in history? It's not as good as mail, so it, you're using rings, it's costing as much to make as mail. It might be slightly quicker to make than mail. Um, but if there's lots of male armour around, chainmail around anyway, why not use it? Why go to the effort of purchasing something which is not as good um, or quicker to make when you've already got mail? And that's an important thing to mention about chainmail, is that once it's made, it lasts for quite a long time. So, um, you know, it's quite probable that by the 15th century uh, in Europe, people were reusing male armour that had originally been made in the 11th, 12th, 13th century, and they were chopping it up connecting it together in different ways and reusing it. So, this just makes no sense. And you know what? We know the real answer why. It's because that is easier to make than male armour, than chain mail. Uh, it's easier and cheaper in the modern world. And if you're having to equip your actors with stuff, you want, you want I guess, things which are easy, easy to maintain and, and cheaper. Um, and equally, it kind of looks a bit different. They're kind of making the character look different. They don't want to stick everyone in the same armour. Even though in the historical period, by and large, everybody wore more or less the same armour because what works, works. And you wear the best thing you can afford. And that's the same thing that everybody else wears. So, anyway, I'm just going to mine around about rings connected onto jerkins. Rings on jerkins. It's very popular since about the 1960s. You can see it in medieval films right the way through the last few decades. And... Uh, it's really annoying. It doesn't represent any kind of armour that actually existed. So you guys who maybe do uh, computer games or role-playing games when you're talking about ring mail and these kind of different terms for different kinds of mail, there was essentially just mail. There was chain mail. This is bullshit. Cheers.